Hey y'all. Hey, hey. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Welcome to my channel. Let's light our candle. I light a candle in my craft room almost every time I'm in here to push out the frivolities of the day. <laughs> Today it's tax time, so definitely going to leave that outside the door. And just get centered so that I'm right here. And so that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I wanted to attack Rachel over at... Roxy's creation. She did a cool um, pocket, a floating pocket. I just unboxed my package from Donna over at Donna Dreams Times Three, and instead of I have a ton of this paper, I don't need any more. I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to recycle it, and I don't want to keep it. So I decided, let's see if I can do um, Rachel's pocket with it and make it so that it will go in the dark journal okay so let's tackle one of the torn ones i'm curious to see if they're if they're going to work at all so we're going to make the edge of the paper a little stronger Then we're going to make the part that goes on the page that creates the flip. Then we're going to make the pocket. So that is going to work. So if this is a page in our journal, well, I can just glue it down. And I'll show you. Angela Toma did a great job. Um, she went outside the box a little bit and created several different kinds of pockets that were very cool. Nice job, my dear, nice job. So this is gonna be, that isn't straight. That's because the paper's not straight. I think it's too late to get that out. Yep, sure is. Okay, so let's get this straight, even though our paper's not straight. That's much better. Doesn't it kind of narrows down, but that's not going to matter. But what I was thinking on these tears was now this is going to be a pocket. We're going to have, see, this is going to go like this. On one side, it'll be like that. I don't like that crookedness. And then. The other side, I wanted to use this washi is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> I got this washi in my creative studio box and I have had it for since I, uh, months. 
months. And I wanted to remember where I got it, so I left it in the envelope. And you might guess that the envelope got stashed away. What I'm thinking is I will fold this and then cut off what I need to to make it straight because that, look at how crooked that is. That's, that's really crooked. Let's use the cutter. Okay, so now we have this pocket. And this. So we could put we could we could straighten this out with washi. Well, that either fixed it or it made it worse. We'll see. See the pocket yet? The flip part and the and the pocket. This paper hasn't been coffee dyed or anything, so I'm thinking it's going to take dye quick. Oh, I should say, that's great. That'll make you forget about straight lines, won't it? Cool beans. Okay, let's let that dry and we'll do another one.
we are going to dinner with friends um, Saturday. And we just had Olive Garden open up in our town. Like, I don't know, they've been open about three weeks. Oh, no. Well, no, about three weeks. And so, we're brave, I guess. not grungy enough. Not even close. Come on. Get your grunge on. That's a little better. I don't like that swipey, the swipiness of it. Yeah, so last night, thinking about Olive Garden, I got hungry and I was going to air fry some chicken breasts, but I changed my other mind. Hmm. I like that one better, but it's all right. Maybe it needs purple. I don't know. We'll see. So then I got the chicken out of the freezer, and while it was still frozen, I sliced it like an eighth inch into like cutlets, and I'm, I was gonna make veal parm at first. But then, as I got hungrier and hungrier, I decided to fry it in you know, Italian breadcrumbs. So I made some breadcrumbs, and I soaked them in egg first the chicken, and then um, laid them in the breadcrumbs and fried them in olive oil and a vegetable oil. It was so good. And I made some Alfredo with penne pasta, garlic Alfredo. It was good. It was good. Totally forgot about the other side. <laughs> but that's okay, because I don't think we're going to use the other side, so it's all right. But i got to dry it a little bit at least.
Hmm. I don't think I want green on this. So I don't have any other anything that I want green, so we're just gonna be gone with it. Looks like dragon slaughter. Ask me how I know. Okay. Let's get back to this now. Okay, this goes on the back side. So it needs a hole, a thumb notch. And we'll put it right up here. I don't care that it's jagged because it's going in the dark book. In fact, that'll just make it even cooler. I don't think this dark book could get any cooler. Kind of had that, a wave of, oh my gosh, you've been working on this book for so long. You need to get it done. And then I just slowed my roll and had a little conversation with myself. I'm having fun. And I'm not on a time limit. It's not a special order or anything unless, you know, if somebody bought it and said, hey, could you have it done by X? Then yeah, I would, but right now that's not, that's not happening. Okay, so this needs to be glued down. We have the coldest wind right now. It's terrible. Now this was going to be our actual pocket. It's turning into, it's gonna be a pocket on each side, so. Hmm. So I think we'll just go with it. I'll make the other one so that it's bigger, got a bigger pocket on one side. So this is going to go on the other side of the page, and this one, probably I'll make it just a little tiny bit shorter.
Maybe I should put, no. No, 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 no. So now we have two same size pockets. Which is not what Rachel made at all. Cute. So, where's a book? If this was our book page, it was sticking out like this. This one, uh oh. Yep, it's inside out. This would go like this. And then it would fold and go like that. And I like that, but that's not really what Rachel made. <laughs> You know me, guys. I kind of go off road. All right, so let's make, let's really make what Rachel made. Okay, so she made us a little seam, and then she folded it just a little ways. And then this was a big pocket on the other side. Or you could, let's see. So if this is your page, it goes like this. Wait. On one side. Oh my gosh, I just got the spins. Okay, slow down. So this is your little tuck on the other side. And this is the pocket, jeez. Right? So if this is my page, goes like that, and it comes over here, and this is my, my pocket. Okay, so I need a thumb notch right here. And I need a thumb notch. If I'm going to have that be a tuck, I need one here. And I need one here. Well, let's glue this down. No, let's don't. Let's, because it won't, if I, if I glue it, then it won't, we won't be able to notch it because it'll be all wet. Let's see what I did here. So I did put that notch in the wrong place. It goes right here. Right? No. No, it's just a tuck. Right? Okay. Gosh. Don't do what I do.
Hold on. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Pardon me, guys. I got the sniffles now. Yeah, that's on the wrong side. We're going to ignore that, though. This is going to go here. That'll be on the right side. Yes, yes, yes. I normally have a little spray bottle with coffee in it up here, but I didn't uh, refill it. I don't know. I took it downstairs for something. It must have got absconded. commandeered for something else. Ooh, I know. I know what let's do. I've used almost this whole bottle since I started this journal. I love the way it makes the papers feel. This, um, for any of you that might not know, this is the um, antiquing type distressing glue that I made. Lots of people make it. Um, it it really is a fast way to make paper look old. I don't want to get it near that thumb hole because it'll seal it shut and I don't want that to happen. And as a bonus, I remember I put a little bit of lavender and just the slightest, real slight hint of patchouli in the in the glue so whatever I paint with it has just a little bit of a scent to it you really I can tell I'm very sensitive to scents and I can tell it's there but it's not like you look at it and go oh lavender doesn't doesn't really do that hmm I need, it needs more. It needs, I'm gonna get some spray.
I don't want that to do that. So I want, I'm just going to use this other piece of paper. It's probably too late. Oh, that's cool. It's not too late, actually. Okay. All right, that took the stripes out. That's what I, I didn't care for. Okay. Numb. Love it. Okay. I believe that. Okay, we're going to leave it, but I'm going to put something in here. So the way it would be is it would bend right here. This is a pocket. Where is it at? Um... Right? Yeah. Okay, I have to open that up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hurry, hurry. Quick, quick. We used to tell Mandy, my daughter, hop like a bunny. Okay. Phew. Nice save. So. So that would wrap around and there would be a tuck at the top, a little like for a pencil maybe or something. And this is an actual pocket. If you glue it down, it's one pocket. If I glue the back, these two sides underneath, then it'll be a tuck and a pocket. You guys believe that? Okay, I'm going to set this whole mass over here. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. That turned out nice, huh? It is still not dry, so I do want it dry. Oops. <laughs> okay, we'll set it right there. All right, guys. That was week number five, I do believe. They're not decorated because I'm not sure where they're going to go at in the book, but they'll be beautiful. Okay, guys, let's all take care of each other. Bye.